Good evening, Titans, and hopefully you're having a great weekend. And uh, we're going to talk about Lesson 3.2 today, and uh, titled Linear Functions. So the essential question is, how can you determine whether a function is linear or nonlinear? So if you just think about it, linear, a straight line. Nonlinear, okay, so pretty simple. We want to know, is a graph or an equation or whatever going to represent a line or something nonlinear? Here is a slide of definitions. Uh, I'd like you to put these definitions in your notes. I'll talk about a couple of these, but a few of these we'll talk about later in the, in the video. So, first of all, a linear equation in two variables. An equation that can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m and b are constants. So again, that's going to be very important. This form is how we're going to write our linear equations. A linear function is a function whose graph is a non-vertical line and has a constant rate of change. Okay, it must have a constant rate of change, which means it's going to be a slant that's constantly changing at a constant rate, a constant rate, the same rate every time. Nonlinear does not have a constant rate of change. So something nonlinear is something like this. This does not have a constant rate of change. Okay. A solution to a linear equation in two variables is an ordered pair that makes the equation true. And then discrete, you can write this down now, and a continuous domain, you can write those definitions down, but we'll talk about them later in the video. First of all, if we look at this graph, which one's linear, nonlinear? Well, that would be nonlinear. And this graph, because it has a constant rate of change and it's a straight line, that would represent a linear graph or a linear function. Here, if we look at the x's, it increases by 3, increases by 3, and increases by 3. Here, the y is decreasing by 6, decreases by 6, and decreases by 6. So as the x values were increasing by 3, the y values are decreasing by 6. This would be a constant rate of change, which would make this linear. In the next one, the x's are increasing by 2, increasing by 2, and increasing by 2. But here, the y increases by 7. And still, again, as x increases by 2, now it increases by 11. And again, as x increases by 2, here the y is increasing by 15. Since these are not constant, and these are, this is a non-linear function. 